What's up, Scrollgers? It's Nerp here. And look, guys, I did it. Number one weekly winner. That I think is my third of that kind, which brings me one step closer to a Minecraft cape. And today we're going to play Judgment. I haven't had a Judgment video in I think like a week, so it's about time. And so lately my Judgment videos have been like challenges, kind of. But today. We're just gonna go some old-fashioned straight up judgment and I'll try to draft a really strong deck. So heading right into it, we see pretty good stuff. Rod Eater, very strong scroll. We got a double Kabank going on. Focus here, good utility scroll. Druid burial ground, okay. Yarl is the power guy over here. Um if I can get him in a growth deck, that'd be amazing. We'll start off here by just taking the Rod Eater though because he's just a strong creature and if we end up going to K, he'd be nice to have. And now this row doesn't really tell us much because it's kind of bad. So we'll just take this row. And honestly, Focus or Kabonk is more versatile because I see a Yarl here, I'm just gonna take that Druid Barrel Ground. Here I'll go with the Yarl, hopefully I can get good growth stuff around that guy. Now I see Scholar and Gallant Defender. So taking the Magnetizer won't be too bad here. And I transpositions here, so I'll just take the Magnetizer and Batsif over here. I'll take the um, Gallant Defender over the Magnetizer because I think Gallant Defender is just really good. Now transposition, nice utility scroll. Okay, we're kind of all over the place here. I guess I'll take the Wicked Being just because I could be like a Darkling leaving it on 2 health. Now, I don't know, all these scrolls are ugh, kind of meh. I guess I'll just take the Omen, it's kind of a cool scroll here. Okay, Rizzo Beam Potion is a very strong scroll. Squire, yeah we already have a couple, a few, a few order stuff so I'll just take the Squire. Um, okay. Look at this row, we have a Brave, uh, Halls of Omelasa, and a Royal Infantryman. I'll decide that as we get lower. Right here, I think I'm just going to take the Escalon Spires. Um, the Rest of Bean Potion or Focus? Probably the Rest of Bean Potion. Okay, well, we have a Veteran down there. Oh, this is really tough. <laughs> We're all over the place in this draft. A lot of Order and Decay, but then I have like this Veteran and like that Yarl. And a Brave. I have the, I have the Kinfolk Trio. The Brave... The veteran and the Yarl. Um, so halls, I it's really good, but I only have one decay creature. It's really too cool. The German or Kinfolk Brave. Order, I'm not looking too bad in because a lot of order scrolls so far. So I should probably take the Duke the German. There's also a Pother here. Those are good decay stuff here. But if I take the Brave, I, that's higher upside because I might get a good growth deck. I go with growth a lot in Dungeons, so I, I'm going to take the safe side and go with the order because I have more order stuff. So I'll grab that. Um, Royal Inspiration can be pretty good. I'll take a Pother. Okay, uh, this is good growth stuff. kind of regret uh, not taking the Brave now. Um, summons and Desert Moral are just not good enough to warrant a pick over a Kinfolk Veteran because who knows, I could still go growth but it really shouts at me. So I'll take the Veteran. And now, Royal Inspiration, Ragged Wolf and a Focus, Gusly Azuler, another Gallant Defender. It's really kind of split here. I don't think we're going to be able to have a dual faction deck with like 6 and 7 cost growth creatures and 5. Bear Paw. Okay, now we have to make a decision. Focus or Ragged Wolf? What do we have more of right now? Growth or... We have much more order. We have actually more order creatures too. But obviously our growth creatures are much stronger. 6 drop, amazing 5 drop. 7 drop. Our order creatures are kind of weak. But, you know, we have more order scrolls, and it's going to be. Who cares if we have strong growth drops if we're not going to be able to get to them without, like, losing, uh, getting high resources? So I'm just going to take the focus. We're going to go harder for order here. And then we get growth stuff. Well, if I'll take the Gallant Defender here. Um, Grounds of the Fallen, or I'll take the Sister of the Bear. 
Oh, Samata Shift. I can play that and like get like the Yarl out. It'd be hilarious. Storm Knight is pretty good for order. I'll take the Wetland Ranger. Augusty. I think we're still in order more. It's close though. It's very close. Honestly, if I went from growth this whole way, I probably would be better with growth, but this isn't too bad. We have Storm Knight here, a two golden trimming here. This can go into other factions, so I'll take that. Okay, now we have a wing charger, that's good. I'm not really that good. Like he's not like a good scroll and ranked, but just an a beef, any kind of just beefy, decent creature is pretty good in judgment. Um I don't know, I guess Skythorn. Okay, so wing start a bigger extraction. Maybe I can go into K2. We'll see. I if I could take some of these groups here. Alright, so it looks like order may have been a good decision here. I think at this point we're probably definitely gonna be using order. So I'll take the new orders over the Druid background. I could take the caravans of x -Men's, but honestly, I don't even think any of my things has Dominion. <laughs> More things need Dominion and Pillage in the game for the scrolls like Fodder Pit and Caravans of x -Men's to be worth it. Okay, so new orders. Um, bigger extraction, maybe I can go into K a little bit. Uh, we already have a lot of two drops in order, so may as well just take the one drop. Um, Night Scholar is pretty darn good. Uh, now we have a Wing Soldier, another one drop, another one drop. This guy's gonna draw more things. Now I already have a lot of creatures, 13 creatures. I'm gonna have more too, so I'll take the Blessing Face over the Squire. So let's do that. Now, oh, there's a God Hand too. If we went order, if we went growth this whole time, probably a pretty, pretty strong deck, but this order deck isn't bad either. Um, I'll take the Obelisk, even though I might not play it. Wing Soldier. Come on, give me some, like, three drops. I think I only have two and four drops in, in order right now. Advantageous Outlook. Sure, why not? Um, there's a Rally, but there's also Wing Soldier. That's a good three drop, I guess. And a sort of colors main. Okay. So, we do have a Vigor Extraction, so we might go into Decay, so... I don't know, we don't have any... I'll just take the Lotus Darkling. We don't have anything to really summons anyways. Okay, we have some direct double damage here with the Darkling, the Wicked Being, Colors Bane, Faith Chains. Alright, so then we're taking a Wing Sorcerer, pretty good, and awesome, a, uh... And that's it, so... Perfect, Righteous Parson. Do we have enough for a mono deck? We do have enough for a mono deck. So I probably will go with that, Righteous Parson, pretty good. And... I don't know. Revenant. Okay, so let's put in all these, and we have a mono order deck um, with 16 creatures, not bad. A nice curve. Yeah, there's actually a great curve. Let me see what the curve looks like. And not great. <laughs> look at this, look how many two drops there are. Auto dips down pretty low into four and five. Okay, and. I I have Royal Inspirations. What knights do I have? Storm Knight, Knight Scholar. Is that it? That's it. So this card isn't gonna be that good. So maybe I should take out the Royal Inspirations. And because I do have this Vigor Extraction, where the heck is the Vigor Extraction? Right here. And maybe put in Revenant, Wicked Being, and Loyal Darkling. Maybe. Nope, we're going mono. Mono's always better. Mono order. Mo. Mo Oda. Okay. And I'll be back when a match is found. Alright, guys. Found a match. That was a long queue. CC Creary. Good luck. Have fun to you. And I guess this is a decent start I had. Um. I'll get rid of the, honestly, I'm going to keep all my creatures. Magnetizer plus infantryman is pretty good because then the magnetizer actually gets to deal damage. And it'd be nice to get a draw from the Righteous Partisan. But, but likely won't though. Advantageous Outlook. Not a huge point in putting that out right now. Okay. So now, like, play like two better so I can get a draw from that righteous partisan. 
yeah, I have the Gallant Defender and Righteous Partisan. Um, those guys will be better if he just plays two vetters right now. <laughs> I shouldn't really be wishing for him to play two vetters. <laughs> that would probably screw me over. And he plays nothing. Okay. I'm going to keep the Righteous Partisan for a different time. Because I like the Magnetizer right now, because the Direction Partisan is not drawing a scroll, and I split my units up, so if he decides to put down a creature somewhere, it will be at least hit by something. I did sacrifice that focus, though, so I probably won't have enough damage to kill it. But this coming turn, I'll be able to Gallant Defender. At this point, I have, like, a few more units on him, so I'll probably just sacrifice the Righteous Partisan, we'll see. Looks like it's always useless. Okay, drew a burial ground. So you're not going to deal any damage to that. Um, I'm going to get rid of the Righteous Partisan here, because I can go with that thing next turn. And... Sure. Just like this. Deal a little bit of damage, and I'm on my way. So that Wings Charger might have to be the one to take out that uh, Druid Burial Ground. He goes up to resources. What does he have up his sleeve? A Sister of the Bear. Okay. Oh, Caller's Bane on you is going to be epic. You know what? Wing Charger is probably the right play here. But screw it. I want Caller's Bane on this thing. Um... Let's go Caller's Bane. Do I draw a Knight or do I Faith Chains? I should draw a Knight so I can play the Knight's Scholar next turn. Or Storm Knight next turn. Awesome. <laughs> He's gonna like single handedly win the game. If the Duke of Limitrain goes out from behind him, though, then he's not going to have enough damage. Because you have to deal damage. It's not just, like, attack an idol and all idols take one damage. That's awesome. Okay. Uh-oh. What does he have? Like, a Thunder Surge? <laughs> Proximity Charge? Okay. Well, I guess that hurts. Uh... I, if I play a Duco Infantryman here, you're going to have four attack, and then, no, that won't do anything. Alright, I'm just going to go Storm Knight. Actually, this guy has armor two right now, so you won't die to a prox charge. Whatever. I'm just going to do my idle hitting thing and get down a Storm Knight. Okay. Boom. Those idols are gonna go down. I should probably, I mean, he has a range attack, so he can take down these proximity charges without taking damage. That was weird, it like froze a little bit. Now it's his turn. Okay, I'm gonna leave them all at like one health. <laughs> I'm gonna play a faith chains. He's moving down. And. What's up? Travel Memorial. So that's going to get him more growth. Or Kindled Spirit. Okay. So you have his giant guy for that. I'm. I don't really care to do that. Sacrifice for scrolls. And I guess I'll just play another Yacht Defender. I could go for another Caller's Bane hit, but I think I, it's better if I start to take these things out. And I should be able to have a nice turn next turn because I can use... Oh, that guy, it looks so cool. It looks like I just used the Force to like blow up the mine. That was awesome. Uh, Storm Knight will be able to move up and destroy this burial ground this coming turn. Oh, I actually can destroy... 
the mystic as well. Yes, it is Nerp. Did you not know it was Nerp? Let's see, so five, three. I could take that out, take both of these guys out, right? If I transpo, I think that works. I'm, I'm not thinking right now, I don't know what I'm doing. Yeah, that works. And sacrifice the cross of for scrolls. It's always cool when uh, people tell me they like my videos. Makes me feel warm inside. All right. No units in his hand. What kind of deck did he draft? Outcast Rebel. No, there, there's, there's one. Okay. Now. It's probably this other way. Base bomb. Um. Let's just do the whole. Do the whole hit idols thing. Okay. And I guess I don't have two range units to take out the prox charge. And on the travel more eel. champion ring. <laughs> well, that guy is pretty strong, right? Let's get rid of that. Um, I guess I can figure extraction you. And I can speed up the process of winning I guess by dealing damage to the idols okay so just a couple more hits and I'll be good ember bonds no Whoop! you won't die in vain um, so all those idols are going to take one damage. Sacrifice Royal Inspiration for scrolls. Do I Roasted Bean Potion? I think I'm just going to sacrifice this dude and take out that dude. Actually, no. I want to take out the idol. And I'll draw a scroll. And I'll go with the Double Wing Soldier. Boom. Man, those idols really got ticked low. I will probably be able to win next turn considering over. Oh, oh boy. Well, that's gonna be game for me then.
Let's see if I can destroy all idols. I think that's all idols, alright? Give me all idols. Eh. Alright, so that was quick and easy. Hope you guys enjoyed. Like the video if you did. Subscribe for more content like this. And keep on scrolling, scrollsers. So I will see you all next time.